Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and welcome to our governors. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I just want to start with respect to my dear friends across the aisle to counter the narrative that uh, was proposed at the beginning of this hearing that this is just a bunch of bureaucrats from the East supporting this uh, action by the Department of the Interior, and to remind my colleagues that the Secretary of Interior is our nation's very first indigenous cabinet secretary, a native New Mexican whose family has uh, lived in and uh, been from New Mexico for countless generations. And I I myself am a native New Mexican. I was born in rural New Mexico in Farmington, New Mexico in San Juan County, where my dad worked in the oil fields and where my mom worked at the San Juan power plant. I grew up working the land with my hands, working for my family's irrigation company, and I support this rule. And the reason why I support this rule is because unlike what we're hearing here in this hearing this morning, the rule actually will help us to manage our lands in a more balanced way. It's not going to cut off development. It's not going to cut off our ranchers from grazing. It's not going to cut off oil and gas. It's not going to cut off mining. It's going to make sure that we are adequately balancing the needs of conservation, protecting our cultural landscapes, and ensuring that we are also balancing that with our resource management. And I say that also as somebody from a state in the West that is an oil and gas state, that is a rural state, that is a state where our, our communities depend on agriculture and ranching and where our state revenue predominantly comes from oil and gas on those lands and where our state has actually implemented a very similar rule. And guess what? Not only did it not cut into the revenues of this state, we have seen the largest, most astronomical growth in oil and gas revenues over the last several years in New Mexico ever in the history of our state. In fact, this year, we are on par to see the largest growth in oil and gas revenues after implementing a similar rule. So I find it very upsetting, Mr. Chairman, um, when I see the resources of this body of Congress, of the People's House, being used to put forward narratives and misinformation that, in my mind, is intended to scare the American people because it's just simply not true. And much of what I've heard here today is just not true. This is really about balancing the needs of our public lands.